10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go Falcon, go Air Set. Vehicle catching ground range. Stage 1, engine chambers, pressures are nominal. Moving through the clouds there, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. Coming up next, we'll throttle down the nine Merlin engines on the first stage to prepare for max Q at about T plus one minute and 12 seconds. Power and telemetry nominal. Vehicles on the right track. Now, as you may already know, max Q is the period of flight with the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. So it's one of the critical flight milestones we're tracking. Again, we expect that here in just about 10, supersonic. 10 seconds. And with that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. With that call out, we now have three events coming up in quick succession. So I'm going to talk through all of them right now. We'll start with Miko, followed by Stage Sep, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the, the next event, has started. which is stage separation, or stage sep for short. That's where the first stage separates from the second. Right after stage sep, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey to space with a third event in the sequence, sequence, second engine start one, or SES one. This is where the MVAC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Aerobsat payload to orbit. Right after these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES one. So keep an eye out for that too. And again, all of these events are gonna start here in just about 10 seconds. And Miko. Stage separation. With that, we have confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and you can see there on the right hand side of your screen, second engine start one. While the first stage burn is in progress, we are expecting ferry to, while the first second stage burn is in progress, excuse me, we are expecting fairing deployment as well. Fairing separation. Wow, great view of fairing separation there on the right hand side of your screen. It is now T plus three minutes and 40 seconds into today's mission. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two Acquisition burns. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. The first stage has two burns left. Right now, we're watching the MVAC burn on the second stage. Pico one. Stage one landing burn. Nominal orbit insertion. There we've got the call out for second engine cutoff one and nominal orbit insertion on our second stage. Right now we are watching stage the- Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you just saw a successful 14th landing for this particular booster, which also marks our 195th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket.
We've had a successful landing of our first stage and two relights and shutdowns of our second stage engine. Now we're coming up on our last major milestone, which is payload deployment. And that should happen here in just about 20 seconds. Our customer today, Arabsat, is a satellite operator and leading satellite services provider. The payload on board our second stage today, Bader 8, will provide connectivity over Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Central Asia. Payload separation confirmed. There's that gorgeous view on your screen there of the successful deployment of the Arabsat Bader 8 payload. With that confirmation, we'll bring today's webcast to a close. We want to thank our customer Arabsat for entrusting us with today's mission and all of you for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.